YouTube, welcome back to a new video. And as you can see on my screen today, I have a, I guess a cartoony. Um, it's a fun UI style right here. Uh, you can see the tag. This is the designer, uh, Ted Davis. You can go ahead and follow him on Twitter. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. Um, let's move this aside. Oops, right here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, make a new layer. We're going to start with this banner. Uh, let's take our pencil. We're gonna go for shape, fill on, stroke is off, and we're just going to just wanna click and drag a little bit. Try to get this uh, shape down right here, like so. Just keep going across. Oops, kind of messed up here. Go up a little bit. There we go. All right. Once you have the shape, we're going to double click and select on the color. All right. Next, let's make it layer underneath. Let's take a pencil, and now we're just going to uh, create this shape right here. As you can see, let's go here, and now for this one, double click and select color as well and we're just going to position it right here all right now what you want to do is you want to make a new layer you want to right click and hit create clipping mask right here and next use your pencil make your color black and we're just going to click up here and then click down here this will create the shadow for us as you can see and now let's right click on the shape layer and let's go into blending options um, you can see this little uh, bevel here so you can use inner shadow for this you don't have to use the bevel and emboss just make the color black uh, make sure you adjust the angle obviously so you can see the choke you can see something like that forming right there and uh, once you have that hit ok we're going to take these two hit ctrl g to make a group group Control J to copy, Control T to free transform, right click and hit flip horizontal. Uh, drag this across. Alright, once you have this, okay, we're gonna take all these, so all three of these layers. We're going to Control G to to group, Control J to copy, right click and let's hit convert to smart object. Alright from here, let's double click. Uh, there's also the inner shadow up here, so I guess I'm going to add that as well. I forgot to earlier. Alright, this one. Alright, now let's add a drop shadow. You can see right there. Let's make the color black. Make her angle uh, 90. Spread 100. And then size and opacity down. Now, as you can see, we have this. Uh, Banner. So we're going to type out our text, game store, change the font to a nice playful font. I'm not sure if I have one. Um, I guess this one works. Enlarge the text. The font is not, it's not exactly the same, but uh, this will work. So, add a, so I'm going to add a drop shadow to the text. Right, so we have the banner complete. Let's group this up. Place this right here because now we're going to make a new layer. And we're going to create the actual frame. So, um, us, so right here, so right here, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to pencil. And you can see these little holes. You can just curve this uh, very easily. So, Let's move this to our canvas. Alright, so right here, what you're gonna do is you're going to double click and you're gonna select the outside color. Right here, because we're going to make a new layer. 
now we're gonna use our pencil and create this inside shape so just try to follow this as best as you possibly can um obviously these videos are meant for you to learn the techniques the technical art so when you're making ui or just graphics in general there is a creative aspect and a technical aspect all right these videos are meant for you to learn the technical steps to make these kind of uis but i'm not telling you to um, take the ideas because you're not going to learn uh, creatively that way so we have that complete uh, next let's move on to these buttons which should not take too long so i'm going to make a new layer and let's take our pencil and we're just going to create this shape once again like so we're just going to go up all right so in order to make this one let's uh, double click and choose the blue color let's go into blending options and you can see uh, there's still bevel in the boss so i'm gonna go ahead and add that let's go soften like so like so and turn overlay down let's add a little shadow and then we can add a drop shadow like that so let's uh, drag this across obviously you can use the same text um, so game store game items and if we group this up and we just copy this down this right here will be currencies Finally, we're going to move on to the actual item frame. So make a new layer, go to your rounded rectangle tool right here. I'm going to make my radius 10. We're just going to drag this out. Oops. We're going to double click, select this color, control J to make a copy, double click and select the inside color. All right, now this is pretty straightforward, we're going to right click on the uh, outside, let's add the drop shadow, and now with these frames, alright as you can see that is pretty much it, uh, we could add a drop shadow to this frame to make it stand out like so but as you guys can see that is pretty much it um if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more with that being said also check out our store and discord link is going to be down below i will see you guys in the next video